Guys, here's a little preview. Ghost hunting with drones. Okay guys, I wanted to show you a really useful Tello upgrade. So, there is definitely an issue with the Tello, and the Tello is the fact that the camera is not very good and it does not record to an SD card. So I've tried to modify this camera and actually move it up, which I was successful in doing. You can see that I pulled it apart here. But then the software in the decided that the camera was misaligned and decided to give me an error code and not show the video. So I put it back correct and now it works as an FPV camera. But I have attached a small micro camera to it that has its self-contained battery that is actually part of this equipment I'm going to show you now. And this works extremely well. Here's the videos. And this is an upcoming video that I have being made right now. We're ghost hunting with drones. So uh, anyway, this is the actual setup here. This, I've just got this on here. This is a hinge. So if you pull this tape, usually I tape it on four sides, then it will swing forward and you can get to the SD card and everything and to charge. So when I go to fly, I actually tape it on four sides. There's your charging and your SD slot. Cool. Here's what I used. I just took it out of the bracelet. So you can see that the camera quality is pretty good here. And the Tello can easily carry this little bit of added weight. Think of it as extra wind that it's fighting against. But it's not much. It's giving you true 1080p video. And crisp, clear. Only missing the gimbal, eh? But, you know, it's drone footage. And you can face it however you would like, directly forward. I like my camera facing directly forward for most of the work I do. That really bugged me a lot when I would miss shots because the Tello camera is face down. So here we are going inside these 300 year old structures and doing some ghost hunting. But this is an upcoming video. Here is your comparison. This is what the Tello camera looks like. It's actually hovering there. Alright guys, here's a little more footage up over the trees with the modification, the micro camera on the Tello. You can see that the video footage is pretty good really. You can even see individual leaves and there's no dropouts. Look at those kite borders out there. Now it was insanely windy and I almost lost it up there but the Tello was fighting. And look at that sky. So if it wasn't windy, you would get a good still shot, or at least less windy. Now here's from the Tello's point of view. See the difference? I'm sure you can clearly see it. So, most useful Tello upgrade. And my suggestion, I've tried, you can see my video where I've tried multiple of these micro cameras. The best one i found is the one in this video that I put on top of the Tello. Okay, I hope that helps. Let's get out there and make some cool drone footage. Have a good day, guys. Had to put this in. This is the JJRC 
X9 with a gimbal, same exact location. Check that out. Yeah, I think that's quite quite awesome. You know, I also found out that I, I started to use GPS with this drone, and I think it's starting to do much better. I, I turned on the GPS, and it was rock-steady solid, holding position perfectly. So I was very impressed.